Hey yo, welcome back. It's Cam or Rain Star bringing you guys another video. So it's been a while since I last uploaded. I apologize, just had some things going on, wasn't making any content, but we're back. I'm making an updated settings video. Everyone's been asking for my current settings. So here it is. Everything's going to be in this video. I'm also going to leave a paste bin to my settings down in the description. I know a lot of you guys are just looking for that. I'd appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video. Um, then go take the pace bend, take what you need. But I appreciate you guys watching. There's going to be a lot of people asking what client I'm using, why it looks like this, what CSS I have. So I use the MTZ client. There's no UI scale on there just to throw that out there. But I'll leave a link to the MTZ Discord down in the description as well. So this should be pretty easy. I'm kind of just going to scroll through and talk about it, point out any major things. Um, so let's just get into it. High tick rate on. And this might be a little out of order if you play on a different client. I think MTZ rearranged some settings, but um, for the most part, it's going to be the same. So resolution to FPS, I play uncapped, no reason to cap it. Um, aspect ratio, my res that I play on is 1556 by 1080. It's a little bit stretched, not crazy. I've been playing with this res for a while and I love it. So I recommend you guys try it out. Um, so a lot of things that will affect FPS a little bit, I have turned off just cause low spec off. Um, low spec actually would help your FPS. So if you want higher FPS, there's a, if you turn low spec on, it might make a difference. It just takes away the legs on people. Um, but I have low spec off, no textures. I did I, this is a new setting I don't know it's off for now might end up changing um map details on particles off I don't see the reason on having them on particle distance 160 render distance 100 I believe that's default I think if you guys want higher FPS you could try pulling those down it might help a little bit shadows off soft shadows all of this the lighting ambient shading dynamic shadows off uh, bullet shells I do have on I like having it on for a sniper and that's what I mean so Sniper flap is off. Muzzle flash is off. Um, we're just going to scroll through. So all these are on the text animations, object animations, screen shake on. Um, lighting I have on normal. I haven't played with it too much going low and high, but might as well just leave it where it's at. So I use old scoreboard. So in the game in the top right, um, if you know there were people in my game, the scoreboard would be up there. Um, I like it better than pressing alt to pull up the scoreboard. Just personal opinion on that one. Most of this is just default. So most of this is default. I have kill counter, death counter, and score counter all turned on, um, and street counter, um, spectator counts on, just normal. I'm pretty sure this is all default. Show ping, show FPS is on. Uh, movement, I have turned off, so I don't see my movement speed, which is fine. I don't, it doesn't really bother me. Um, so I have show metals turned off. This is one thing that is just really personal opinion. So like headshots or um so your headshot wall bangs things like that that would pop up when you get a kill all right i didn't want it don't really see that it's necessary for it to pop off or for it to pop up so i did turn that one off um name tag display everyone this is default for the most part everything here is default um chat settings default i don't think i've changed any of this all right so here's the crosshair settings this is where it's going to start getting interesting where people are going to want to use my settings you guys can go down to that paste pen and just copy and paste from there. Uh, but I use a custom crosshair actually. So what you want to do is change it to image and then post that link right in here. And then you're good to go and have it on always show um, if you use what I use, I guess. So it's personal opinion. So right here, custom, just a little red crosshair. Normal, nothing crazy, super clean. I love using this. Gameplay, so here's my sensitivity. I play 800 DPI. 0.1 in game across the board so that's like insanely low i play low sensitivity i always have i just feel a lot more comfortable on it um i have a large mouse pad really light mouse it's personal opinion once again if you guys like high sensitivity play high sensitivity no controller settings obviously haven't played control on this game you guys are curious what i use for audio it's going to vary depending so um like your headset and everything else what you use your pc volume at so here's mine though if you guys are curious i do have voice volume turned off though because i don't want people yelling at me when i'm playing the game calling me a hacker or something i don't know dude um so here's all my view model settings we have field of view i play 115 110 um i don't know why don't ask me it's just what i started playing and i feel comfortable with and i don't feel like changing it um weapon bobbing 0.5 leanings at one um it doesn't give you much movement on your gun at all which I like I don't like when your guns flopping around and basically touching the ground so 
that's just what's clean for me we have the offset so i play once 1 1.6 1.5 1.3 once again personal opinion i feel like it's a good place gun's not too big it's not in the way um obviously personal opinion though whatever you guys want to rock that's just what i rock so um i hide weapon on ads depending um it is changeable so i'll show you guys that one um i show hands i show primary show secondary show melee but that's all changeable by a click of a button so i'll show you guys that now so if you go up to your top of your settings and go to controls you can actually set hotkeys for different things so down here so weapon invisibility i have set to minus and hide weapon ads i have set on equals so depending so for example i always want my sniper showing um but if i play ak i might want my ak hidden so all i have to do is click that minus key and it just it hides it, it disappears just like that with the click of a key so super awesome hotkeys that you can set up um, to make things easier for you depending on what you want to use in game and what you want hidden or not so for the hud and everything i have it changed a little bit just custom colors pop-up score have turned down a little bit it's not as distracting it's pretty small saturation we run it too if you don't run two saturation or 1.5 around there you're crazy game looks so much better when you turn it up to two so for load mod and auto load mod i have both of those off that's because i use a resource swapper um so i don't use an in-game mod at all i just have my mod directly like put into the client if that makes sense i don't know if you guys know what a resource swapper is if you don't you can look it up i'm i know there's youtube videos on it already um scope borders off and i have a custom scope but my custom scope is literally just a blank image as you can see my crosshair is there because crosshairs on always show but other than that there's nothing there and the reason i do this is because it's a lot less distracting for me super clean um i feel like it makes my sniping better and a lot of people have said the same thing so if you guys want to try it out definitely go down use that pace fan get that custom scope out of there and that basically oh we do have a custom hit marker um it's just little red hit marker hardly shows it's not very big you can use that as well feel free um obviously we have the match in game message gg and then plugging myself maybe i should take that out is it bad to plug myself what do you guys think um custom profile image is just a little rainbow guy as you guys can see down in the corner i might leave that one in i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave that in the paste bin because it's kind of you know proprietary um i'll probably leave it in for you guys why not um and then i do have custom um kill death and streak icons so it's just my twitch emotes um nothing crazy so that's about it i don't use anything else custom um anything else that you do see that you think might be custom is probably just the mtz client like custom badges and things like that hope you guys enjoyed this updated settings video let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see next make sure if you're buying kr use code rain appreciate you guys see you in the next one